Boatswain Mr. Park is leisurely operating a steering gear. His mind is racing in contrast with his relaxed gesture. He is submerged in worries about work that will start soon and inept crewmen. All of a sudden, a whistle was heard out of nowhere. He was jolted out of his thoughts. Before even trying, his dream of catching a boat full of fish disappeared in vain. What happened? A bistro near the port. 지난번에 기름값도 안 나온 거 알지? 아직 애들이 손이 느려서요. 뭐 애들 아직 손발 맞힌 지 얼마 되지 않아 가지고. 야, 그 언제까지 손발 타령이야? 곧 나아지겠죠. 이번엔 좀 잘해 보자. 응? 아주머니, 여기 소주 한병 줘요. The two men are Mr. Park, the boatswain of fishing vessel A, and Mr. Kim, the captain of fishing vessel A. At first, they drank lightly as they ate their meal, but it soon turned into a drinking party. The captain drank too much. 너무 과음하시는 거 아니에요? 너도 내 나이 대봐. 이 나이에 뱃일하는 게 얼마나 힘든지. 술심 없으면 못 버텨요. 알죠. 하지만 이제 일하러 나가야 되는데. 그러니까 마셔둬야지. 야, 너도 한잔더 해. 아, 됐습니다. 저라도 멀쩡해야죠. 알았다. 나 하나 마실게. 가자. Mr. Park was already heavily drunk, but he sailed to the nearby Suhyuk refueling station to fill up with fuel oil and fresh water so they can survive their long stay in the sea. Fishing Vessel A is a boat for jig fishing weighing 43 tons with a length of 22 meters and a depth of 2.28 meters. It is mainly for squid jigging, which takes place at night after resting for a while during the day and before starting the fishing operation. Fish gathering lights are used for squid jigging. However, when the tank astern of the ship is filled with fuel oil and fresh water, this lifted the stem head. Therefore, the view of the horizon of about 30 degrees on both sides of the stem head was obstructed. However, this is an everyday occurrence that crewmen always endure and experience. On January 2, 2015 at 12.28, fishing vessel A left the Suhyup refueling station in Poang Old Port as usual for fishing operation. At first, the captain skillfully steered his boat as he always did. Not much later, he succumbed to the after-effects of drinking. He felt his eyelids get heavier and he nearly fell asleep. <sighs> right after passing through the eastern breakwater of Pohang Old Port, the captain called the boatswain into the wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> the captain rested after entrusting the boatswain with steering, and the boatswain operated the steering gear. However, he was unqualified for sailing. Despite the lifted stem head which obstructed his sight, he didn't try to secure a clear view by monitoring the radar or veering the ship. He vaguely held the rudder as told by the captain and simply worried about the fishing operation ahead. The thing was that he didn't recognize another ship on its route. It was cargo ship B, which weighs a total of 2,134 tons. 
On December 31st, 2014, Ship B, which was carrying iron products, left Pohang for Shimonoseki Port, Japan. However, due to the deteriorating weather conditions, it was anchored and placed on standby at the berth of the outer port of Pohang Port. At that time, the crewmen of cargo ship B found fishing vessel A approaching them. As the fishing vessel A didn't seem to stop approaching, the crewmen of cargo ship B on duty sent alert signals. However, vessel A neither responded to the alerts nor changed its route. The cargo ship called fishing vessel A twice through the VHF radio, but there was no response. Mr. Park, whose mind had wandered, finally found cargo ship B. As he hesitated, the two vessels rapidly approached each other. The stem head of fishing vessel A eventually crashed into the shelf of portside stern of cargo ship B. As a result, the stem head of fishing vessel A was partially destroyed, while cargo ship B experienced damage to its shelf on the port side stern. The captain, Mr. Kim, soon understood the situation that an accident occurred as he was woken up by the crash. The captain took over the steering gear from the boat swain and ran away from the scene without making any follow-ups. In the end, he was caught by the maritime police because cargo ship B reported the accident. After a breath test, it was found that the captain operated the vessel with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.082%. 술이 왼수죠. 요즘 뭐 워낙 고기도 안 잡히고 그러다 보니까 답답하고 스트레스도 많이 받고 그래서 간단하게 술한잔 먹고 나간 건데 그게 그게 이렇게 큰 일이 되리라고는 상상도 못 했죠. It was the captain's drinking that caused the maritime accident. The Maritime Safety Act prohibits a person under the influence of alcohol with a blood alcohol content of 0.03% from operating or instructing the operation of the steering gear. If a person violated this act, he or she will be sentenced to imprisonment or fined by up to 30 million Korean won. The operation of vessels under the influence of alcohol is subject to harsh legal punishment. Instructing a person who is unqualified for sailing was one of the causes of the accident. Another cause of this accident was negligence. The unqualified boatswain, Mr. Park, was negligent. It was not until the crash occurred that he recognized it. Moreover, although the lifted stem had hid the horizon from view, he didn't check the radar or separately assign a lookout on the stem head. To prevent this accident, first, a crewman in charge of operating a vessel must not drink before departure. Also, an unqualified person must not be entrusted with the operation of a vessel. Also, all vessels at sea have to appropriately keep guard by utilizing all available means, including checks with the naked eye and radar observation. When your vision is limited by structures in the stem head, it is necessary to carefully keep guard at sea by assigning a lookout to the stem head. 전에 나가서 조업 하시던 선박들은 뒤에 이제 연료라든지 청소라든지 많이 싣고 하기 때문에 그런 부, 부분이 가끔 발생할 수도 있습니다. 선수가 들리게 되면 제일 먼저 중요한 게 전방에 대한 시야 확보입니다. 시야 확보를 위해서는 좌우로 변침을 해서 주기적으로 항로상에 타 선박이나 장애물이 있는지 없는지를 확인해야 되겠습니다. Since then, the captain has never drunk before departure and paid more attention to safety. For his crewmen's safety, he has instructed them to wear life jackets during operation. After returning to his job, he tried not to make the same mistake.